All right. Welcome to a little bit of time with Dr. Susan, which is me, and learn or play and learn. So today we're going to play with our names about that came about from the idea of this book. It's called the OK Book. So we're going to take a look at the book, and, and when we finish with that, I'll give you the ideas that I came up with because I really like the concept that they used in this story. All right, so let's take a look at it. All right, this is the OK book. And our bunny rabbit seems to be OK. <laughs> I really like that. All right. Hi, how are you? I'm OK. I like to try a lot of different things. What he's doing with that. I'm not great at all of them, but I enjoy them just the same. He's trying juggling. I'm an okay skipper. I'm an okay climber. I'm an okay marshmallow roaster. I'm an okay tightrope walker. I'm an okay left fielder. I'm an okay right fielder. I'm an okay dry diver. I'm an okay hider. <laughs> he hide right under the wall. You don't even see him. I'm an okay pumper. Pushing himself on the swing. I'm an okay sledder. I'm an okay kite flyer. Whoops, I think the tree got the best of the kite. I'm an okay tug of warer. There he goes. <laughs> I'm an okay sharer. Hmm, a little practice on that one. I'm an okay headstander. I'm an okay pancake flipper. Cool hat. I'm an okay fisher. Oh, he caught vines and boots. I'm an okay swimmer. I wonder it's because he doesn't like hot, cold water. I'm an okay lightning bug catcher. Have you ever catch, caught any lightning bugs? I haven't. One day I'll grow up to be a really excellent at something. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm sure having fun figuring it out. Now, before we click the last page, I want you to notice that when he said, I'm okay, he was introducing himself because he exactly is okay. His name is what he is, an O and a K. The end. <laughs> that was a pretty cool story. I'm OK. And being OK with doing the things that we do and achieving the things that we achieve is wonderful. And to know that there's things you're doing and things that you're learning and the best thing about this book that I really like is that no matter what he says he's okay at, he knows he can take his time and energy and practice and becoming even better. And what it, so the things that you saw was he was he's an okay diver, he's an okay tug of war, he's okay at at uh, skiing and sledding, he's okay he's okay at doing a lot of things, at being a juggler. So we got to see. A lot of the things that he does. But what's behind the things that he does is who he is. And one of the things that I got from the story was to recognize that it doesn't seem like he ever gives up. And it doesn't seem like any, nothing is too hard to try to see if he likes it for number one before he wants to really dive into it and become better at it by practicing. And the other thing that I picked up about, about this okay 
is that he had the energy and the, the drive and the passion to continue trying all these different things. And he didn't, doesn't know what he's going to be yet, but whatever it is, he's going to be good at it because of practice. But one of the things that you don't see about him is you don't see the inside or you don't see the part of him that gives him the desire to be okay at things for right now. Doesn't have to be an expert. Doesn't have to be perfect. He simply tries and he simply steps in and practicing the things he enjoys doing. So one of the things that caught my eye about this is I wanted to know a little bit more about who he is inside, about his desires and to his understanding of how he's doing things and, and what he gets out of it. So I thought it would be, how would it be kind of fun to take your name, just your name, and see what supports your name. His name is okay. I did one for my grandson, and his name is Dominic. So I just did a little pencil one, so it's probably going to be hard to see on camera. But I'm going to do another one so that you get the idea, and I'd like you to give it a try. Just takes a piece of paper and a pencil. That's all you need. So uh, if you want to do that with me now, that would be fun. But here's what we're going to do. Is I took my grandson's name, Dominic, and just did the first three letters, Dom, because that's usually what we call him. And I know you can't see much on this because it's in pencil, but it's going to end up looking something like this, if you can see it. I'm going to put it on the paper like this so that you can. It's going to end up looking something like that, like a little cutout character. All right? So this one I'm doing now is for my other grandson, Finn. And I'm going to take his name, which I wrote out like that. I'll do it out of black so you can see it really well. So I took Finn's name and I just wrote it out. And you can do this with your name or with anybody. But most importantly, your own, because you're the one that knows most about you. About how you feel about things, how you see things, and the desires that you have and the things you'd like to do. So this is Finn, and it's F-Y-N-N. -N. Okay, so there's Finn. And I'm going to erase a little bit of lines here so they don't confuse us. Okay. Pencil comes. Erases really good from ink. Okay. So there's Finn. Now the first thing I did in DOMS is I turned it long ways like this. I can't put it upside down so you can see it, but I'll try this. And I made a circle up here like a head. I gave him a head. There's the head right there. There's the O out of OK. And then with, his, with the letter N, I just extended that N a little tiny bit here and here. I'll do it with a black pen so you can see it better. Here and here. And then I took the K and went like that. And then like this. There's OK. So thin is OK. And my pen is not okay because it ran out of ink. So we'll go to this one. So here's the okay here at this end. I want you to be able to see this because it's kind of fun. There's okay there. And there's okay here. Here's the O. Okay? So there's the okay. So now you kind of get a picture of this right here. All right? So there's that part. Now, what I'd like you to try now and to do is find your pen. I wish I had another small black one, but I don't. So we're going to make do with what we have. But I do have a blue, so we'll use that. So I'm going to take and I'm going to create out of the black. I think that'll work the best. Is I'm going to, on his the top of the F, I'm going to come off of that and put an arm. And then I'm going to come off the bottom of the F I'm going to put an arm this way, okay? And then on the K, down here at the bottom, you can see the K right there. I'm going to stretch it just a little bit longer, and I'm going to give him some shoes. And I'm going to give him a stretch it a little bit longer and give him some shoes at this end. 
So there, he looks like a figure. All right? So, and then I'm going to make this out like an arm and make, give him a hand like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and give him a hand on this side. So I'm going to come down with the pen like this. This is just a fun, fun little thing to do. All right. Now, the other things we're going to do is I'm going to think about Finn. And I'm going to color each one of his letters a different color so that you can see what I'm doing. There's Finn right there. F Y, whoops, N N. So you can see the name. So we're just having a little bit of fun with our names. Now I have to think about, and then I what I want you to think about is I want you to think about the things that you know about yourself. When I was thinking about Dominic, I know he's very caring. So what I did is I took uh, the word caring and put it in the letter D. But I'm going to focus on Finn right now. And Finn is six, and I know some of you, you are probably that age too. So think a little bit about yourself. Think about are you determined when you want to do something? Are you, um, are you, do you do fun things? So we'll start here. So I'm going to tell you about Finn. So you get little ideas about him. He's very determined. He's a determined little boy. So on this side, at the bottom of his, his name, I'm going to put determined. So he's a very determined young man. And here's another one of my pens that aren't happy. <laughs> so we'll go with this one. So he's very determined. So I'm going to write that about him. I'll go over this again so you can see it. So he's determined, all right? And he's another one of the things about Finn, and I'm going to write it on the top part of his F, is he's loving. Okay? He's loving. And the other things that he's, he's very creative. So I'm going to write that in his arm, creative. He's very creative. And the other things about him is he's full of energy. So I'm going to take the part of the Y and I'm going to put energy. He's full of energy. And then I'm going to think about other things that I recognize about him. That he's very kind. So I'm going to write the word kind inside the N. He's very kind. And the other things about him is he's very caring. So I'm going to put that in the other end. And he's lots of fun. So I'm going to put fun right here, right in the middle of the two ends. And he's fun. And then I'm going to think a little bit more about him. And one of the things that I find um, very fascinating about Finn is Finn loves to um, imitate. He likes to imitate things, like when he watches something on television. He likes to act it out. So I, I don't know for sure, but I think something, some of the things that he really might like to do is do acting, because he loves to play in that way. He loves to dress up and, and be characters and things like that of the different stuff that he watches and the things that he enjoys. So so the, I'm going to just kind of put actor down there because I think that might be something that he would be really good at and he would have fun with. So I'm going to put that right here in between the Y and the, and the N. Actor. And the other thing about Finn is he loves to play. That's one of the other things he enjoys doing. So I'm going to put play over here. So what I'd like you to do, if you're working on you right now, is to fill in some of the things about you that you know about you, that you can figure out and figure in to your character and your design. Okay? And then the other things that, um, 
that I like I like and find uh, fascinating about um, uh, Ben is he's very understanding. So I'm going to put that down on the top of the K, on the top branch of the K, understanding. He's very understanding. And he's very, I put it down here, that he's very determined. And he's loving, he likes to play, he likes to have fun, he has lots of energy, and he's creative, and he likes to, um, he likes to, well, he, uh, create. He likes to create, he likes to play, and he likes to play dress up. So that's a little bit something else about him. And he knows he knows that it's important to try. So he knows how to try. Just like the character OK, he knows how to try too. And in lots of all the things that you said, he says, I'm OK at. So I'm going to put loves to try. He likes to try things new. Even though he may feel that he loves, he, that he's not really, um, really good at it. At least yet. And he loves to try. So we'll put that down there by his, by his, by his legs. And he's always, and he, and he has, he's very caring about animals. He likes animals. So he's very loving. And he just enjoys having fun. So those are the things about him. And if you know a lot about who you are, and sometimes you might want to ask your mom, maybe, what do you, what do you know about me? What do you see about me? And then maybe mom can share some words and some ideas with you or dad or your friends. Brothers and sisters are good too to ask them that question to see they, how they see you. And you can see whether that fits you or not. Some of the stuff would, some of the stuff wouldn't. Like uh, the other thing that, um, that, I, that I recognize about Ben is he can be stubborn when, when it's about you know, time to put your toys down, it's time to take a bath, and time to do those things. But he wants to continue doing what he wants to do, or what he's doing. So he's, he's enjoying, he has a lot of fun, and he enjoys what he's doing. And the other thing about him too is he loves to learn new things. So I would put the word learn in another spot, because that's something he really enjoys to do. And that's part of who he is. He's very open and wanting to learn about things. So we have a little bit of a design here that tells a little bit about Finn. Now, I'm going to add the, um, use this one, the, uh, let's see, so we're going to put some, some kind of like some eyebrows. We'll put them here. And we'll add, um, We'll add a nose and some eyes. Give him green eyes. He has green eyes. Give him some eyes and a nose. And he's always smiling. He loves to smile. He's always smiling. That's one of the things about him. So he loves to smile. And we want to make sure he can hear. All right, so that's a little, little bit of a character. And one of the other important things about Ben is that he always moves forward. If he tries something and it doesn't work, he'll, he'll, let, he'll let time go by and then he'll go back and he'll retry again. Or he'll create something different from what looked like it failed. So he moves, he continues to move forward. And moving forward, you kind of need your feet, right? Your feet and your hands. So we'll put move on one side and forward on the other. So he continues to move forward in all the things that he enjoys doing and the stuff that he likes doing. So then, once you finish that, we can cut the character out, cut him out of the paper, and just go around the head. But this is a fun thing to do, and not only for yourself, but sometimes for, for your, maybe your brothers and sisters or... It might be kind of a fun thing to do for the whole family. So you have a, a emotional picture of who you are and also a physical picture of who you are. So you kind of just kind of go around the letters to make like kind of like a body shape. Okay. 
So this is a picture of the, part, the other parts of who we are, not just what we do, but the way in which we feel about the things that we do, the energy that we give to our day and to, our, to ourselves and to our families, the other kind of energy that, that makes a difference. And we never know exactly what difference we're going to make in the world. And even right now, with, you know, depending on how old you are, you begin to think, hmm, how can I make a difference? And making a difference is allowing ourselves to learn more and to discover the things that really interest us in how we can make a difference. And sometimes making a difference is simply by being who you are and knowing that everything you try or everything you're okay at, you can take that interest and decide whether you're going to cultivate it or make it, um, make it something that's going to be strong, something that you want to do that you may want to do a little bit later. Or the more you do it now, by the time you're um, maybe going to school, like maybe you like to play baseball, or um, the girls, maybe they like to dance and they want to take ballet and tap and things like that. Guys, too. Dance is good. You know, he's kind of funky-sided here, but because of his letters. But there's his name, Finn. And then you put it this way. And these are all the things that I know about Finn. And I know that he's very loving, he's very kind, and he enjoys doing things. And I know that the things that he's going to do and the things he's going to try are going to make a difference for him and not only our family but our community and our world simply because he's here, just like each one of you. Simply because you're here, you're going to be making a difference in your world and in your family in all of those places. So we have, this is Dom and this is Finn. And uh, it might be fun to see what else you can create with just the simple idea of I'm, oh, it's okay, I'm okay, and his name is okay. So take the rest of your day, make it a wonderful day, and be okay in everything that you try. And if something doesn't work the way you want it to work, set it aside, go away for a little while, go do something different, and then come back. When you're refreshed and the new ideas are coming, do it again because then it's even going to be even greater than it was that you did before. So everything we try, we're okay at. But everything we add our energy to and our love to and our passion to makes a whole lot of difference, not only to ourselves, but to our families and to our world in which we live in. So make it a good day. Go out and have fun. Be creative and do something wonderful with, for yourself and with your family. So have a great week and see you soon. Take care.